Back to this again. Oh, God! Hey there! Bob from Oregon's Constant Garden. Welcome to the OCG fam. Mm. Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments. We'll talk about it after the show right now. Let's just get into the show. Roly poly bugs. You ever seen these things? Maybe you don't have them where you are. Where I am, there's these little bugs, and they look like a little dome, like a little VW Beetle without the hump on it. And if you touch them, they roll up into a little ball and roll away. Anyway, someone asked a question, are these bugs bad for your garden? And Scott answered that. But more than that, we got into a little discussion of uh, pests in the garden. I thought it was interesting, and I, I think if you garden outside, uh, maybe even inside, you will too. So please watch the clip, and I'll talk to you after. You're awake at that time. End of conversation. <laughs> Roly polies. Uh, they're composters. They're generally good animal creatures. Yeah, we're talking about the little guys. We're guy talking the it, armadillos it, without tails. Yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, they roll up in a little ball. There is a name for them, but I like yeah. them as roly polies. Roly way better name. Yeah, they're shady looking, but in all reality, they're pretty good at decomposing okay. stuff or breaking down decomposing stuff. So, uh, just briefly in the garden, what are the good bugs, the bad bugs, and the bugs that you have to actually deal with? Just a vegetable garden? Yeah, vegetable garden. Well, it's going to be regional. So, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh. up here in the Pacific Northwest, that little bastard that keeps flying around yeah. teasing me, so white he's going to die today. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> and I'm usually a live and let live kind of guy, sure, except yeah. for them. Yeah. Uh, cucumber beetles here are uh -huh. terrible. They not only devastate cucumbers, uh -huh. but they like to take out a lot of things. Uh -huh. um, they like to suck just right above where the fruit is going and suck the life out of it before it can develop. So they're like, a, they look like. Well, you can look them up, cucumber beetle, but mm. they're all yellow like a, they look like a ladybug, a little bit long, elongated and okay. yellow with black spots. I've, I've seen those. Yep, they're dicks. So, um, um, those are my least favorite for my pests. Uh -huh. You get mites, but very rarely. Uh -huh. You'll usually see them on, you know, some of the tomatoes and squash. But because of the fresh air out here, we don't really, they don't uh -huh. harbor well, so they don't take off. Uh -huh. Caterpillars are the number one in my vegetable garden. You can even see. So you have the big stuff like caterpillars, snails, slugs, those kinds yeah, of things. Yeah, you can see our outdoor pests far greater than indoor pests. We've created these nightmares with, you know, micro mites and root aphids and so, yeah, uh, yeah. They, they, you have such a problem before you can even identify it because you can't mm -hmm. see the pests indoors. Those don't thrive as well in an outdoor setting, and really, it's because this soil has so many living organisms in there, that even are, the little tiny microbes or bacteria yeah. or whatever, spider mites, they gotta outcompete a ton of compost life. And so they just don't thrive as well in an outdoor okay. garden setting. Now, if you're in the Midwest, you've got crickets, locusts, you've got, yeah. I mean, so, yeah. gophers, moles. I mean, that's, all my beds are lined with double um, hardware cloth. Okay. Double chicken fencing. So, I mean, not only is it the small chicken fence, but it's doubled up. So, you can't, uh, I mean, okay. so snakes gonna... can't get through it. Because I used to have these beds that were 30 inches deep. Uh -huh. And so I could stand up and garden. Yeah. And it was great. Except for I forgot to put the fabric down below. Yeah, like, uh, and the moles oh, thought, right. hey, oh, worse. <laughs> they were like using it as an elevator to go three feet off the ground, eat everything in the box, and then go back down and go to the next bed. So I'm like, I went to raise beds trying to get away from them. And uh, what they do is they use them as an elevator. So every one of these beds is double lined with chicken line or chicken fence and hardware cloth. So just nothing's going to get through it. Physical barriers I mean, are you the main. feel the, all yeah, along no, I can these. See, yeah, there's no joke. Yeah. They're everywhere. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Okay. What do you think? Of it? Informative? Entertaining? Helpful? Let me know in the comments. And, uh, you know, Scott is a real resource for growing the wacky tobacco and that sort of thing, using nectar for the guys. But also, he has been a gardener uh, in the garden for a long, 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 long time. And he's learned a lot out there, and he's really applied himself. He's got a lot of knowledge in his head. Um... I'd like you to think about some questions and some comments and some lines of conversation we could have with Scott in the next Viewer Questions episode. I think it'll be of value to all of us, so I'd like you to do that. I love you, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good, it happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.